So I've always been interested in um, kidney donation um, throughout university. I had applied a few times, but for BC you have to be 25 to be an anonymous kidney donor. So I'd applied a few times throughout university. Um, I started donating blood when I was 18. I joined the stem cell registry when I was 17. It would have been the December of 2020. I saw like um, a coworker's, someone that she knew, their child needed a kidney. So I'd applied again through BC. So then they said no, because I wasn't 25. So then I kind of just got on the path of living liver donation. Um, we stopped our living liver donation program here in 2015. So I, I looked at uh, Toronto and Alberta and I have family in Toronto. So I decided to apply through Toronto, yeah. I could do a lot of my testing here in BC. I was able to do like all my blood work. Um, I went to Toronto just for one day to do my scans and then I did, um, I met with the team just over Zoom. And then it would have been on the plane ride home the next day that they had said that I could donate my left lobe to a child. I think I had three bile ducts on my right side so I could only donate my left lobe. So it had to be like a pediatric recipient. And then they just matched me to whoever was on the list that I was the best match for, for like size and blood type. Um, and then I got a letter, I'd say about two months later from the parents. So they, they wrote me a card, which is really nice. Um, and it just talked about like how much they appreciated um, the, portion, the portion of my liver and just, it was like thank, just thanking me. Originally I was gonna, I was gonna wait to donate my kidney. Um, my cousin has lupus, but she's had, she's had lupus for a long time. So I, I decided I was gonna donate. I signed to be in the, the, kid, the paired kidney exchange through Canadian Blood Services. So then I'm not sure, like I was just probably an anonymous link in the, in the chain, yeah. Cause originally they had offered me to donate kidney um, like while I was doing my liver workup and it was gonna be quick. They're like, we can fly you down for testing and then you can donate like the week after. <laughs> but then I'd asked them just how long I needed to wait between donations and they said I could apply at three months. So I applied um, after four months, yeah. Uh, I would say my recovery was pretty quick. I felt pretty much back to normal around three weeks. I just had the lifting restriction for six weeks. Um, I went back to work at eight weeks. I think once I got the letter too, that was like also really nice. Um, it just kind of everything kind of came for full circle there. I feel the exact same like post-transplant as I did pre-transplant and I'm still able to do everything that I did beforehand and it's if like living donation isn't for someone then they can always like sign a donor card or donate blood. It doesn't have to be you donating an organ but definitely just that you can live like a completely normal life after. A lot of people think that I take medications or that I'm like immunocompromised after, but no, it's, yeah. I feel the same pre-transplant, yeah.